Welcome to Cockpit Talk. My name is Hans Evert, Managing Editor of Automobile Woche. We are here at Horizon Robotics venue at IIA Mobility. And with me is Dr. Yu Kai, founder and CEO of Horizon Robotics. Dr. Yu, great Hi. to have you here. Good morning, Hans. Yeah. Dr. Yu, let's start with the bigger picture. When we talk about the global smart mobility revolution, what does it really mean to you? And what role does Horizon Robotics play in it? So uh, we envision the future uh, cars are becoming sort of uh, computers running on four wheels, right? So the building uh, will become more and more important. So Horizon Robotics uh, is playing a role like uh, Microsoft and Intel for personal computer, you know, uh, but we are like a, the computing platform for all the cars. So today we are the uh, uh, biggest player uh, in China uh, in terms of a market share. So last year, actually, we shipped uh, more than uh, 3 million, uh, you know, systems we'll cover, namely 3 million cars. I think uh, uh, more than, let's say, uh, over 30% of the market share. But this year, we have uh, even uh, further, uh, you know, growth of the market share. Beyond technology, um, Horizon Robotics emphasizes customer experience, safety and value. Um, can you share a real-world example of how Horizon's technology improves the day-to-day -day driving experience? Right. So, and we care a lot about uh, the value to humanity. I think uh, uh, today, if you uh, ever come to Beijing, it's very uh, usual that uh, you're stuck in a traffic jam, let's say for two hours. Think about, uh, you know, it's a huge waste of uh, human life. When you're stuck in a traffic jam, you cannot do anything, you know. It's still, you need to like 100% concentrate on the steering, yeah. you know. It's tedious. But I think uh, the humanity is uh, by nature multitasking, right? So we want to check email, you know, we want to chat with friends. The technology should give people the freedom. When you're stuck in a traffic jam for two hours, you can still do whatever you want. That's why uh, we are so excited by the technology of the uh, computing chips and software for the driver assistance and eventually towards uh, autonomous driving. And then in the end of the day, so you are really the master of the car. You know, today, I think without such a kind of technology, you are not the master of the car. And uh, to some extent, uh, you are slave of the car because you can not have any choice. You have to 100% you know, concentrating on steering the car, right? I think given humanity, given human being more freedom is fundamentally the meaning of uh, technology. Your flagship solution is Horizon SuperDrive, and it is described as a full scenario urban NOA, which is navigation on autopilot. What makes it different from traditional driver assistance systems, and how close does it come to delivering a truly human-like driving experience? The traditional driver assistance normally focus on highway. So the highway, I think you have clear landmark, you have like a, a basically no pedestrian. Right, only cars. The environment, uh, the traffic is relatively simple. I think the technology should, uh, you know, give people the freedom of autonomous driving anywhere, anytime, right? What about the country road, right? What about the urban in the city center? So what about uh, in somewhere, you know, off road, right? There's no clear, uh, let's say, traffic sign. There is no clear landmark. I think uh, the technology should be uh, generalizable to anywhere, anytime, right? And what about the thing of further in the future, autonomous driving on Mars, right? There's no such kind of uh, clear uh, highway, right? So we should definitely develop the kind of technology, you know, can uh, automatically uh, drive. That's you enjoy the freedom of uh, everything. Here in Munich at IAA Mobility, uh, we see a huge presence of Chinese automakers. Brands like BYD, Sherry, NIO, um, they are gaining recognition in right. Europe. What role does Horizon play in supporting this new wave of expansion? Well, yes, I think that today in uh, the evolution or revolution of the car technology, one chapter is definitely electrification. And the next uh, chapter is definitely the get the cars to all be smart. So we are pushing the kind of a boundary and making the cars, you know, are really kind of smart. We are not just uh, enabling many of the Chinese car makers. 
we are actually also enabling a lot of uh, global car makers. For example, uh, we have a very deep uh, collaboration uh, partnership with uh, Volkswagen, and uh, we have a joint venture, and uh, we are offering uh, technology to many of the Volkswagen cars. We also work together with like Bosch and the Continental, the German uh, automotive tier ones. For example, we work with Bosch. Actually, uh, together we are offering the systems to many of the Japanese OEMs and for their business in India market. If you look at this, this is an amazing story. A Chinese uh, technology company worked with a German uh, gigantic uh, automotive uh, tier one supplier for Japanese uh, car maker, and, but for their business in India. So fundamentally, we are not just enabling like uh, Chinese uh, car makers, and uh, we are really like a player in global scale and uh, working together with all the car companies. But eventually, benefiting not just the users uh, or consumers in one country, but uh, across uh, the global. Yeah, you were just mentioning your, your global partnerships and your collaborations with companies like Volkswagen, Denso and Bosch. Um, but what would you say, what is the uh, unique strength which Horizon uh, does bring to these partnerships, which also distinguishes you in the ecosystem? Well, that's a great question. So uh, I think first, uh, we are a very kind of uh, strong and a unique technology company. There are many companies very strong for silicon design. There are many companies uh, strong for software. But we are like uh, among all the silicon companies, we are very strong on software. But among all the software companies, we are very strong for silicon. And combining silicon and the software together, we are also very strong for automotive quality control. So putting all the three pillars there, I think uh, out there uh, worldwide, not many companies uh, having that kind of competence. But this uh, technology strength is one thing. The other thing is the mentality and the business model. We choose to work with uh, many partners instead of doing everything by our own. So we want to be like a building uh, ecosystem and then work with all the partners because we believe uh, uh, the openness is really the driving uh, factor to accelerate the pace of uh, innovation. Horizon has already chipped more than 10 million units of journey processing hardware, which is, by the way, a huge milestone. What are your biggest learnings in scaling advanced driving technology to mass production, and what challenges still remain? I look back our journey. We've been already like 10 years. If you ask me if uh, there's a chance to restart, and uh, probably my answer is like, no, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's it's, it's uh, most of the time it's quite painful. It's request uh, hard working and the persistency, and um, most of the time when you grow from like a nothing to uh, where we are today, most of the time you get like rejected by your customers because uh, you was like a nobody, right? This is a very uh, painful process, but it's also rewarding. I think eventually. I really, you know, not only building a business, but also we build the characters and we build the trust. We build the credit and also we build a friendship. I think uh, eventually it's quite rewarding. Regarding the journey, we are looking ahead after Horizon Superdrive in the Journey 6 series. How will the next generation products continue to empower drivers and promote a global revolution of smart vehicles? Well, definitely I believe uh, currently at the pace of technology innovation is being accelerated because of the technology of AI, because of the big data, because of the Moore's law and the big compute. I'm very optimistic in the next three to five years, technology will reach the level of maturity, really like a level three and a level four. In three years, in my view, we're gonna reach the maturity of like 100% ISO. And then in five years, we're gonna reach the maturity of 100% hands-off, and in 10 years, we achieve uh, the maturity of uh, minds-off. Basically, you can sleep on the car. <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> Doctor, you, uh, you can already look back on an astonishing career, from many C-Labs to Beidou to Stanford, uh, not to forget, earning your PhD here in Munich. In Munich. What motivates you most today? Is it the thrill of technological breakthroughs, the broader societal impact of technology, or something else? This was a really um, uh, kind of amazing experience. So uh, can you believe 25 years ago, in the year of 2000, September 10th, actually 
I uh, first uh, arrived at Munich. Today is September 10th, right? Exactly oh, okay. the same day, right? <laughs> So that's uh, amazing, so that's amazing. So that was, Munich was my first stop as a young student. At that time, I was like uh, 24 years old. The first time I uh, go outside of China and explore the whole world. And the Munich was the first stop. It's an amazing uh, experience. I got my PhD in Munich, right. And uh, I always want to uh, develop a technology, which is uh, like uh, not just uh, deriving equations, or writing papers, but really make the technology meaningful to every ordinary people. So I always ask myself, if I develop this technology, can I explain that to my mom? If she can understand and she likes that, and I think that's meaningful. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of uh, the uh, motivation driving me to uh, always thinking, bringing the uh, cutting edge technology to every ordinary people's life. You've already told us your vision of sleeping in a car in 10 years. Let's fast forward five years. What role do you envision for Horizon Robotics playing in a global smart mobility ecosystem? For drivers, for example, what will feel normal that still remains futuristic today? Well, I think uh, cars will be the uh, extension of your living room. Cars will be like uh, the cars in a traditional way, just like the smartphone is no longer the kind of phone mobile phone, you know, 20 years ago. So I think uh, we will really revolutionize the people's lifestyle. Currently, you have like a home, you have an office. You can have your third space, uh, which is uh, the cars. You can, you know, make a phone conference. You can play in a video game. <laughs> you can like uh, social networking with your friends. You can drink a beer probably <laughs> because it's driverless. Important in Munich. Exactly, exactly. So I, th I think uh, it will definitely you know, change people's lives. So I think uh, that's uh, the kind of direction we are pushing forward. Dr. Yu, thank you for the conversation and the insights from AA Mobility. This was Automobilwoche's Cockpit Talk. See you next time. Thank you.